Nowadays, when modern photographers have such powerful tools as Photoshop and neural networks in their hands, no one can be surprised by the surreal photographs that are literally replete with the internet. But how, back in the mid-20th century, photographers managed to create brilliant surreal photographs using only natural objects, a live model and a camera with film it was truly a mystery. Surrealism, which originated in the fine arts at the beginning of the 20th century, became popular not only among many artists, but also photographers. This innovative style inherently involved a strange accumulation of incompatible objects. To achieve surreality, photographers began to use combined printing, editing, deformation, and distortion techniques. The most popular technique has become multiple exposures of a frame, that is, obtaining an image as a result of sequential shooting of several objects on the same section of photographic film. In this case, several images were superimposed on one frame, and when printed, the photo turned out to be multi-layered. It was with the help of such exposure, photomontage and artificially prepared forms that it was possible to create an image with idyllic dreams or surreal artistic images that magically affected the viewer's consciousness. Such photographs, made using non-standard photographic techniques, were often used in advertising in the last century since they generated unusual semantic and visual associations in the viewer. It was Philippe Halsman who first proved that original surrealism effects can be achieved even without editing, multiple exposures, using exclusively photographic means and professionalism. The photograph he took, Dolly Atomicus or Atomic Dolly, dedicated to the famous surrealist artist Salvador Dolly, is a true classic of surrealist photography. Philip Halsman was born on May 2, 1906, in Riga, into a Jewish family. At home, he was sentenced to death for his nationality, but thanks to the help of Latvian President Gustav Zembels, he left for France and avoided execution. During World War II, Halsman had to escape persecution by the Nazis in the United States. He achieved enormous popularity overseas gaining fame as one of the best American portrait photographers of the last century. Halsman's works have been published in such prestigious publications as Look, The Saturday Evening Post, Paris Match, Esquire, Life. And again, we return to the photograph itself. In the same time, the idea for Philippe Halsman's famous photograph, Dolly Atomicus, was inspired by the latest scientific discoveries in the field of physics. Studying the structure of the atom, scientists came to the conclusion that negatively charged electrons move around a positively charged nucleus in airless space. Physicists have also proposed that all matter hangs freely in a constant state of temporary suspension. Having learned about this, Halsman decided to hang in the air his friend, the great Salvador Dali, along with furniture, an easel, and paintings. Two paintings, an easel, and a stool were hung from the ceiling on a fishing line. The photographer's wife, Yvonne, held a chair. On the count of three, the assistants threw out a bucket of water and threw the cats into the air. On the count of four, Dolly himself jumped as high as possible, and Halsman took photographs. The master filmed this action using strong studio flashes so that the artificially constructed frame looked extremely realistic. After several takes, Philip retired to a dark room to develop the film while assistants wiped the floor and consoled the cats. Over the course of six hours, 28 jumps were made, and the cats, enraged by the mockery, from time to time, tried to hide from the tormentors. Of course, they had no idea for the sake of what high art such sacrifices were required of them. The final version was published in Life in 1948, along with some of the spoiled takes. The photograph inspired Halsman to ask later subjects of his photographs to jump for him. Willing subjects included Audrey Hepburn, Ed Sullivan, Grace Kelly, Harold Lloyd, J. Robert Oppenheimer, and others. Halsman called the practice jumpology and explained how it allowed him to better capture the true character of his photographic subjects. When you ask a person to jump, his attention is mostly directed toward the act of jumping and the mask falls, so that the real person appears. In 2017, Time magazine named Dolly Atomicus one of the 100 most influential photographs ever taken. Time credits Halsman for transforming portrait photography, since before Halsman there was usually a certain distance between the subject and the photographer.
The New York Times called Dolly's Atomic probably Halsman's most memorable work.